Allman reporting for Katie Chats at the CFC Barbecue in Toronto with the amazing Eduardo. How does it feel to have been in the Guinness Book of World Records three times? Yes, my name is Barat. You are trying to interview who? <laughs> I'm confused. Wait a second. Okay, I changed voice. <laughs> yes, I was in the Guinness Book of World Records three times for entertainment. The first one was for... Uh, we did the Michael Jackson dance thriller. 22,923 people in 23 countries all around the world danced thriller at the same time and I was one of those people. Wow. That's one of my records. Oh, and what were the other two times? The other two was for a song called Macarena. Oh. I mean that one too. There was 6,000 people simultaneously danced Macarena. And the third one was for the most hugs in one hour. Wow. And I was in that one too. Oh my goodness. And how many hugs were there? I don't know. I couldn't count. <laughs> I, there was a guy who was sitting there with a mark. Click, 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 click. And tell me, how many voices as an impersonator can you do? I do probably 50 or more. I don't keep track of them all because I also do dialects. I mean, I do all the characters from the Bugs Bunny show. Uh, from Bugs Bunny on, you know. What's up, Nick? Uh, come in the air, Frank. And don't forget Cookie Monster, too. <laughs> and tell me a little bit about your involvement with Ed Sullivan and how you got on board with that project. Oh, it's a very specific project. It's called a, it's a non-profit community cabaret theater, and it's an era that a lot of people are not familiar with in that era. So what I did is I produced a show. I make zero dollars at it, and I invite people to come. I teach them about theater. I teach them about how to work the sound. I get them to work the sound equipment. I get them to work the video camera. I get people from the audience to come up. I have a show coming up in a couple of weeks in Toronto. Um, we're going to do uh, a Jackson 5 tribute and the people who are doing it are from the audience and they come up and then we're doing uh, the Temptations It's people from the audience they come up so I have all kinds of different acts where they come up I, of course I will do a lot of the material but the more involvement I get with the audience the more things and the more surprises happen in every show so I start off with the voice of Ed Sullivan of course I do the Beatles tribute we do uh, uh, Elvis Presley, I do Neil Diamond, I do the comedians, uh, Jackie Mason, Rodney Dangerfield, I also do uh, magic, I do escapes, I do juggling, wow. it's, it's, quite a, it's a quite a variety show. And the most important, besides all that, is the fact that people may like one character and they may get bored of it. For example, you go to an Elvis show, you don't like Elvis, well, you're not going to stay. But let's say you like someone else, so there's got to be something in that show that you're going to enjoy, and that's one of the other reasons why I have a variety show. And where's the best place to find out more information on you and all of the great things that you're doing online? You can go to my YouTube site, which is youtube.com slash Casinorama. I picked that name because it's easy to spell. C-A-S-I-N-O-R-A-M-A, -A -A, Casinorama. Uh, or so you could just type my Google of my name, The Amazing Eduardo, and you should see about 1,500 hits. Thank you so much, Eduardo. Congratulations and enjoy the barbecue today. Thank you. Nice to meet Thank you. you. Nice to meet you. I'm Katie Allman reporting for Katie Chats at the CFC Barbecue in Toronto.